you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Did you know that there are some verbs, English verbs, that they can only be used with certain tenses? Well, we're going to find out in this lesson. We're going to look at dynamic and stative verbs. So stay tuned. Like in any other language, English has dynamic and uh, state of verbs. Dynamic verbs are those ones that involve movement or change. State of verbs only describe states or conditions. So let's first take a look at the dynamic ones. They are the most common ones and they are used in every tense. Just like eat. He is eating an apple. Present continuous. He eats an apple every day, present simple. He was eating an apple, past continuous. He ate an apple yesterday, so this is past simple. He'll eat an apple tomorrow, future simple. It involves movement, obviously. We can also mention go, walk, talk, work, study, learn, read, run, write, tell, etc, etc. The majority are dynamic. What I want to concentrate on this lesson is the stative part of the verbs. So, we said that they describe states or conditions, and they cannot be used with continuous tenses. So, future continuous, present continuous, uh, present perfect continuous, etc. They cannot be used, though there are some exceptions. I'm going to look that in a minute. So, um, we said, uh, for example, verbs that describe feelings, love, hate, dislike, wish, want, etc. They cannot be used with continuous tenses. No, matter, mean, mind, need, believe, agree, appear, depend, etc. They cannot be used with present perfect continuous, present continuous, past continuous, future continuous. They cannot be used with those tenses. For example, uh, I chose need as, a, as an example, and I wrote three sentences. He needs a car to get to work, present simple. The other one that I listed, he needed a car this week, present perfect, simple. And the last one, he needed a car last year, so past simple. As you can see, I never used a continuous tense. Now, I'm going to explain in a minute these verbs, be, think, have, see, feel, taste, weigh, hear, look, and expect. Just let me uh, have a minute to erase the whiteboard and come back to you. Here we have a list of the verbs that I wanted to explain to you. If you use be with a continuous tense uh, verb, it means behaving in a certain way. For example, they are being silly. They are behaving in a silly way, we can say. Think instead, if you use it with a continuous tense, it means consider. For example, I'm thinking of buying a new smartphone, as opposed to I think she will be late today. Have, okay, have, if you use it as a part of an expression, obviously you can use it with a continuous tense. So, for example, we are having lunch right now, or they are um, having a shower, okay? So, have. C, having a relationship. So, for example, he's seen Mary in this period. He's seen, so he's having a relationship. He's going out and he's seen her. So, feel. Physical state. Yes, when you want to uh, describe a physical state or you want to ask about your physical state. How are you feeling today? You can use feel with present continuous, past continuous, future continuous, etc, etc. Taste. Action.
action of tasting. For example, the chef is tasting your cake. Okay, so the, the, the action of testing. Weigh, measuring weight. She's weighing the oranges. She's weighing the oranges. As opposed to, I weigh uh, 69 kilos. Now, here, listening to, I'm hearing lots of issues about the law, the new law. Look, moving eyes towards something. I'm looking through the window, for example. I'm looking through the window. Expect, if you use it with a continuous tense, it means waiting. My friends were expecting me last night. Were expecting me. Were waiting for me last night. Now, let's recap. In this lesson, we looked at dynamic and state of verbs. Dynamic verbs are those that make you move or change. State of verbs are those that describe a state or condition. State of verbs cannot be used with continuous tenses, though there are some exceptions. We looked at be, think, feel, etc. That's it for today. Why don't you write your own example under this video? I would really appreciate if you have any comments or if you want to uh, suggest another lesson. I want you to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to do that, so that you get one lesson every week. Have a great day and I'll see you next week. Take care, bye bye.